Here's the first point. Do not sleep. The first point is this. Who likes you matters to your success. Hmm. Some Christians, uh, because they are ignorant of the spiritual laws, they're ignorant of the natural laws, um, and they're in ignorant of how the world really works. Many believers are ignorant of how the world really works because we live in our own little tight bubbles and we believe that the world is our world. And that's not necessarily the truth. And this is why when some, some people are experiencing hardship, they think everybody else around them have hardship. No, that's your, that's your situation. That ain't me. Okay? Um, because your power off don't mean everybody else in the church power off. Because you can't pay your bills don't mean everybody else around you can't pay theirs. That's your world that you live in. And we, we live from within our worlds and then we don't understand how the world itself works. Who likes you matters. So whenever you hear someone say, child, I don't need nobody to like me. All I need is for Jesus to love me. That's fine. You will get to heaven. Congratulations. You will see Jesus. Congratulations. But your life will be hard on the earth. And this is the reason, and because many believers, because their life is hard on the earth, this is why the church is so caught up with, come now, Lord Jesus. Hurry, come, Jesus. Please, Jesus, come. Come tomorrow. They want Jesus to come to save them from the issues of life because of the hardship that they're experiencing. Do you realize, and I'm going to say that Jesus is coming back when God is determined. That's one. We say he's on his way back. He don't have to be on his way back. When he's ready to come, he just can come. There's no time that separates Jesus from planet Earth. So he don't have to be traveling from heaven to earth for 30 years in order to reach here. In a twinkling in a moment, the Bible says. So as soon as the father says, go, boom, he's here. So he ain't on his way. He come in. And when he come, he can show up. And everybody can know. Now, what is, what is so interesting about who likes you mattering to your success? You can write these scriptures down. Um, media, no need to put these ones on the screen. I'll tell you what I want on the screen. Um, when you look at the Bible and you look at different aspects of the text, there is so much principles and there's so much of the mind of God in scripture that, that for us to not have the mind of God is a direct insult simply because we have it available already. But it means that we just haven't paid attention to it. And when you look in the book of Esther, chapter 2, you notice something very interesting. Xerxes, the king at that time, was upset at his wife, Vashti. Because Vashti dishonored the throne. And so what happened was Xerxes withdrew his favor of Vashti. And because he, he moved to dislike, watch this, who likes you, matters in your success. Because he disliked Vashti because she dishonored the throne, Vashti went from queen to an outcast in a day. And because he liked Esther, Esther went from village girl to queen in a day. Who likes you? matters to your success. 